So I know I haven't done an edited video in a long time, guys, but I came across something that I really wanted to talk to you about. And obviously, many of you have heard today that Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter crash accident, whatever you want to call it, as well as his 13-year-old daughter. Now, growing up, the man was an inspiration to a lot of kids in my generation. He was one of the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player who mirrored his style after Michael Jordan. And he took Michael Jordan's game and he made it his own. Now, within, I don't know, about three hours of the news happening, maybe even less than that at this point, a uh, woman on Twitter named Felicia Sonmez, who happens to be a writer for the Washington Post, decided to put out a tweet commenting on Kobe Bryant and bringing up Kobe Bryant's disturbing rape case, the DNA evidence, the accuser's story, and the half confession. Now, this story isn't from yesterday. This story isn't from the last month. This story is from more than three years ago. So on the day that the man passes away, his daughter dies, and well, people around the country are really heartbroken, myself included, because man, watching him play, the kind of inspiration he was to lots of kids in my generation, it, it it's heart-wrenching. And to have someone who is so extremely insensitive like this, go ahead and within minutes, I don't know, probably 30 minutes to an hour of the news coming out that he had passed away in a helicopter crash with his daughter to bring this up, We all know the history. We also know that in 2004, he was acquitted and charges were dropped. And that the woman who made the accusations against him, whether it was true or not, had seven different, I don't know, specimens on her clothing at the time. So to bring this up on this day of all days, where is your compassion? Where is your sensitivity for his wife and other daughters? They just lost not only their father, but their sister. They lost their father and sister. Now, Felicia, of course, Felicia, being a journalist, tries to make everything about her. She pivots after she posts this horrific article that gets ratioed to hell and brings up the fact that over 10,000 people commented and emailed me and, oh, woe is me and abuse and death threats and blah, blah, blah. Hey, stupid, maybe don't post that shit minutes after the Guy was announced to be dead. Who the heck do you think you are? You want to make it seem as if the people responding negatively to your horrific actions and your personality defects and just being a horrible human in general are the bad guys. You can't even look inside and see that tens of thousands of Americans are sad right now because a person who may have been a hero to them, a person who was a legend at what he did and a family man just died. She goes on to say, hard to see what's accomplished by messages such as these. If your response to a news article is to resort to harassment and intimidation of journalists, you might want to consider your behavior says more about you than the person you're targeting. No, it freaking, no, it doesn't. You know what it says about us? It says that we have compassion. That if the man who was acquitted, let me, let me reiterate that, acquitted and charges dropped, did these things, oh well, today's not the day to talk about it. He just died and his daughter just died in a fiery plane helicopter, my apologies, crash. And you're over here mad because you got some hate mail? Looking through this and looking at this picture, guys, you can see no one's harassing her. They're just calling her human garbage and telling her she's a horrible human being. She should take it down, etc. Hey, hey, Felicia, I have an idea. Grow a soul. It's not the right time or place to post that kind of stuff. You deserve all of the anger you're receiving. If this was one of your icons of journalism or the left or whatever your view of a hero is, you would lose your mind if someone did the same to them. I bet you didn't take into consideration the fact that the man left behind a family, that people that mattered in the guy's life now are having to deal with this, and you want to spread this old shit from 2002, 2003 that has been dropped. We all know the story. We also all know what happened. So setting all that aside, don't cry when people call you out. Don't cry when you're made and forced to be held accountable for your stupid actions. 
I'm sorry, but you are human garbage and you are why the Washington Post should be scrutinized and looked at heavily because they hire idiots like you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Uh, as usual, Monday, Wednesday live show, and I will see you guys soon. And anyone who's a Kobe fan or a compassionate human in general, I respect you. Even if you don't like the guy, let the guy have a day of peace after his life has just came to it close. Don't be like this person. No matter what your political beliefs are, no matter what the stances are, just just understand that we're all fucking humans. Thanks again, guys.